Some things on Earth just don't seem to make a whole lot of sense, and these places are prime examples of that. From a town with a mascot that once brought death and destruction to a triangle of mystery right here in the United States, this is the world's most mysterious and mind-bending places. Pine Gap Pine Gap is a station built through cooperation by Australia and the United States. It can be found in Australia, and it's a place from which many satellites can be tracked, although who knows if that's really all that's going on around there. It's top secret and is run by a few US government agencies that give it a very Area 51 type feel. The National Reconnaissance Office, Central Intelligence Agency, and the National Security Agency all help to keep operations running at this secret base. There are more than 800 people employed at Pine Gap and 38 radomes which cover and protect radar dishes which help the United States keep an eye on a third of the planet. It was built in the late 1960s to monitor and detect missiles, both nuclear and non, as tensions between the US and Russia peaked during the Cold War. These days, it's a significant war fighting base for the United States and is said to be one of the most classified places in all of Australia. San Luis Valley This stretch of land in south central Colorado has become known as a hotspot for UFO and alien activity, and sightings of objects of unknown origin go back to the 1600s. It was once part of Mexico, but after the Mexican-American War, it was ceded to the US, and it is where the headquarters of the Rio Grande can be found. UFO sightings are so common there that just north of Hooper, Colorado, a place called UFO Watchtower was built, and contains a gift shop, campground, and a watchtower that overlooks the San Luis Valley so that anybody who visits can keep an eye out for signs of extraterrestrial life. Almost everybody that lives in the area will tell you that they've seen at least one UFO, and numerous documentaries and books focus on the happenings in the valley. And if you don't believe, or you're just not interested in UFOs, a visit to the area is still recommended, as it's said that the views of meteor showers are out of this world. Door to Hell Locals call this place the Gates to Hell, or Door to Hell, but it's known formally as the Darvaza Gas Crater. It can be found in Dervezi, Turkmenistan, and it was once thought to be the site of a pretty enormous oil field. The engineers who identified it in the 1960s set up an oil drilling rig, and a preliminary survey found that it was actually a pocket of natural gas, and the ground beneath the engineers' camp and their rig quickly collapsed and was buried. An enormous crater appeared, and it was feared that the gas from inside might be poisonous, so the engineers figured it best to get rid of it and set it on fire. They anticipated that the fire would burn for a few weeks and then die out, but it has instead burned on and on ever since. The crater itself measures right around 230 feet in diameter, and around 200 of those feet are covered in fire, and it reaches a depth of 66 feet. Point Pleasant The area where you can now find this West Virginia city might have been settled as early on as 1774, and it was the site of numerous conflicts between whites and Native Americans. It gained fame and attention when on December 15, 1967, the Silver Bridge collapsed and took the lives of 46 people. Part of the popularity stems from the reports of the mysterious Mothman, said to be a harbinger of death, who was reportedly seen in the city and around the bridge around the time of the collapse. Sightings began on November 12, 1966 and continued through December 15, 1967, the day of the bridge collapse. Then he, she, or it mysteriously stopped showing up and wasn't seen in the area afterward. Yanaguni Monument this gigantic underwater rock formation lies not far off the coast of Yanaguni, an island in Japan's Ryukyu Islands. Nobody knows for sure how it was made. There's debate as to whether it's a human-made, artifact, natural, or natural but modified by humans. It's made up of fine to medium-grained mudstones and sandstones which are connected to the rock below and are not freestanding. Those who believe it to be a natural formation argue that the structure seen could be the results of fracturing, as it lies in an earthquake-prone area and other natural phenomena. 
Those who think it's human-made argue that the straight, flat surfaces, right angles, sharp corners and edges, and parallel faces couldn't be natural, and that humans had at least some involvement in the formation. There are round holes, what are thought to be drawings of animals and people, straight walls, pillars, ledges, and more. And Masaki Kimura, a marine geologist, thinks there's a pyramid, roads, monuments, a stadium, and castles on site. It's believed to date back between two and 3,000 years ago, and that it was built above the water and tectonic activity caused it to break off and submerge after construction. Eternal Flame Falls This little waterfall can be found in Shale Creek Preserve in Chestnut Ridge Park in New York. What's so special about it? Well, a grotto at the bottom of the waterfall emits natural gas that is high in propane and ethane, which differs from most other natural gas sources, which are high in methane. To achieve the flame, the gas needs to be lit by hand, and once in a while, it goes out and needs to be relit again, although it mostly sustains itself pretty well. The flame can be viewed nearly year-round, and it's become a popular tourist attraction in recent years as improvements to the park have been made and the falls gained media attention. The origin of the gases found seeping from the falls is believed to be Rhine Street Shale, a geologic formation containing many fossils, located some 13 feet below the surface. Pretty amazing to see a little flame inside a waterfall, isn't it? Nazca, Peru Nazca is a city in Peru where between 100 BC and 800 AD the Nazca culture thrived. They're famous for the drawings and giant works of art they did in the desert nearby. The thing is, the only way these enormous works of art can be seen in their entirety is from up high, and nobody can quite understand how they were made. There has been a long-held misconception that they can only be seen from aircraft, but they can also be viewed from hills and other high up places nearby. But that still doesn't explain just how they were mapped out so long ago. Not only are there many geometric figures drawn out there in the desert, there are a bunch of animals and no one knows why they were created or what purpose they served. Some of the most famous of the works are the condor, the hummingbird, and the monkey, and the spiral tail of the monkey inspired the spiral of the P of the logo of Peru, which can be seen on all its currency and anywhere else the logo is used. Michigan Triangle You've obviously heard of the Bermuda Triangle if you're watching this video, but did you know that Lake Michigan in the United States has its own mysterious triangle as well? It's true, and it's known as the Michigan Triangle or the Lake Michigan Triangle and spans all the way from Ludington, Michigan to Manitowoc, Wisconsin and Benton Harbor in the south. The whole mystery of the triangle gained attention in 1891 when a schooner called the Thomas Hume set sail across the Great Lake to pick up some lumber and was never seen again. Its seven sailor crew just disappeared and no pieces of the schooner nor any bodies were ever found. Other ships and crews as well as just crews have just up and vanished inside the triangle. In one case, George R. Donner, the captain of a ship called O.M. McFarland, went into his cabin to rest, locked the door from the inside, and then went missing himself, never to be seen or heard from again. Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 2501 disappeared from radar over the triangle, leading some to believe it crashed, but no part of the wreck nor any of the 58 people on board were ever located. UFOs, time portals, and many other phenomena have been blamed for the mysteries. But to this day, no one knows if it's just coincidence or if there really is some strange supernatural force behind the disappearances in the Michigan Triangle. Racetrack Playa This fantastic dry lake in Death Valley National Park in California is home to some of the most famous sailing stones in the world. What are sailing stones? They're rocks that move across the ground and create tracks behind them, and they do so without any kind of human or animal intervention. Now the moving stones at Racetrack Playa can't be really explained by any sort of tilt of the ground or anything because the land here is incredibly flat, with the southern end of the playa just being 1.5 inches lower than the northern. They can't be explained by water either as it rains very little here, only 3-4 to four inches a year. 
The stones are typically cyanite and dolomite, and they leave highly visible and traceable tracks as they move great distances across the surface of the playa, and scientists do think they figured out the secret behind these stones' incredible abilities. Ice sheets measuring just a few millimeters thick form over the surface of the playa, and the stones are able to glide right over the surface of the ground on top of them at rates up to 5 meters per minute. To be honest, we were really hoping it was aliens. We've already seen some pretty neat places so far, and we still have one more to go. But first we'd like to ask, what's the most mysterious place you've ever been? What's the most mysterious thing you've ever seen? We'd love to hear all about your experiences in the comments below. Rupkind Lake this freaky high-altitude lake in India is also sometimes called Mystery Lake and Skeleton Lake because there are more than 300 different skeletons found at the bottom. First reports of the skeletons appeared in the late 19th century, but it wasn't until 1942 when they were rediscovered by Harry Kishan Madwal, a Nandi Devi game reserve ranger that they were really paid attention to. In the beginning, British authorities thought they could be the skeletons of Japanese soldiers from an invasion force, but upon further study, they were deemed way too old to be Japanese soldiers. Instead, DNA studies in 2018 revealed that there were two different groups of people in the lake, some from the 9th century and some from around 200 years ago. The thing is, they all share the same cause of death, blows to the back of the head from large round objects falling from above. The skeletons are visible for around a month every year when the snow melts, as the lake is only about six and a half feet deep, and scientists have concluded that the people they belong to were killed in violent and sudden hailstorms. What are the chances that two different groups, separated by around 1,000 years, would be taken out in the same way and end up at the bottom of the same lake? Spooky. If you enjoyed this video, do us a huge favor and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel so that you can always keep up with our informative uploads and be sure to check out this next video we selected just for you.